Okay, so today we're going to be talking about bismuth, which is one of my favorite elements. It is the atomic number 83 on the periodic table, so it is a, a pretty heavy element. We're going to get into its stability in a little bit, which I think is kind of an interesting aspect of bismuth. Um, it normally comes in a, a brittle crystalline white metal form also has kind of like a silvery color to it so not unlike a lot of the other metals um, that you're going to find um, one of the more interesting forms I think is the you know this this crystal form um, which is, is naturally occurring it, it naturally comes in these you know uh, cubic structures and I'm gonna we're gonna look through a magnifying glass in a little bit to take a closer look at that but the crystals are, um, they usually oxidize with different colors. So they might have like a pink tint you can see here. They might also have some yellows and some blues in them. So very, uh, very pretty. On the right, I do have a, a 10 millimeter cube. Um, it's, it's pretty pure. I think it's 99.9%. Um, yeah, so pretty pure cube. Um, it is a, it's considered a post-transition metal. It's in group 15. Um, it has a high resistance to magnetism. It is also, uh, has very low thermal conductivity as a very low melting point. And even though it's considered fairly stable, it has very low toxicity, barely any radiation, which we're actually going to talk about in a little bit. Um, bismuth is used in usually in compounds, it's not usually used by itself. Um, it's often used for some cosmetics and very common um, use for it, which you may have heard, I would assume you've heard of, is uh, bismuth subsalicylate, silate, which is commonly known as Pepto-Bismol. So that's where bismol comes from, comes from the root of bismuth. So that's a pretty interesting use for it. Now regarding its stability, uh, it is again, number 83. So it was once considered to be the heaviest element that still had a stable nucleus. However, it does technically have a half-life and it decays, uh, it has a half-life of 20 billion billion years, which means that its half-life is older than the entire existence of the universe. So if you have a piece of bismuth, I wouldn't worry about any radiation with it. It's very safe to handle. You know, you'll notice I'll use my bare hands with it. There's nothing wrong with, with handling this element. Um, so once that was discovered, it turns out that lead is actually the heaviest stable element that does not have uh, radiation. Um, the crystal form again is very is just is natural. You can melt down bismuth in its crystalline form. Wait a little bit when it starts to harden. You can pull out the crystals and they look just like this. Um, so pretty cool. The crystal itself costs I think about ten dollars on Luciteria. You can get, this is the smallest size, I think it's about 10, uh, 5 to 10 grams, something like that. And you can get, actually get some bigger sizes, you know, from around 30 to 75 for the, the very large versions. So it's actually pretty cheap for, for these crystals. Um, I think it's a great addition to the collection. Um, and that's, uh, yeah, that's it for bismuth. What I'm going to do now is I will just use... Um, a magnifying glass so we can just take a look at uh, another look at the crystal I uh, will move the cube out of there for now um, just pull this up now see if we can get this centered this is just uh, like a jewelers magnifying glass that I like to use all right we're gonna get this center there we go so very interesting um, formation does look like people have said like an Aztec city, something like that. Um, I apologize if this is not super easy to see. I'm kind of doing everything backwards here with the camera. Um, but really the colors are very pretty. There's a lot of pink in this one. Other ones that will have a really light, like teal blue uh, color as well. I think that's probably the best view you're going to get of it. So there is a, a look at bismuth. So um, I will be posting some more videos soon, trying to do these fairly regularly. If, uh, if you have a, an element you're interested in, I do have a, a, a fairly large collection. So there might be some that I don't have, but uh, if you have a, an element and I have it, I'd be happy to do a video. So um, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll see you soon.